Let's go, Arkansas fans. There was some breaking news that's happened during the spring practice cycle. Jimmy Smith leaves to go to TCU to rejoin Kendall Browse. And today we're going to talk about the new running back coach, Colby Smith, who has a playing background. And is this actually a big loss for Arkansas? I would argue on the offensive side of the football, your least important assistant is your running backs coach, okay? I feel an offensive line coach is very, very, very important. Um, Right next to the offensive coordinator, in in my mind, in terms of importance, and then you can get into a debate about wide receiver or tight end coach uh, after that or running back coach. So you guys let me know in the comments which assistant coach do you think is the least important. Um... You know, there's different opinions on which kind of drills actually work, right? Coaches on Twitter argue all the time about these types of drills, okay? Um, Obviously, the first part of this is keeping your head up. Uh, This is true freshman Braylon Russell when going underneath one of these. So, obviously, you're working on pad level. What you don't want to happen is your head become perpendicular to the ground. Uh, You want to keep it up. And you'll see at the end he slips on this cone because, uh, you know, you're not hearing the audio. I don't play the audio. Um, You want to get around uh, this cone. You'll see he cut it short right here. And then, you know, right here uh, he slips on the cone. So, Colby Smith, your your, your new running backs coach, I I just don't think it's that big of a deal. I, I, I really don't. Um, There are some running back coaches that really do move the needle, but that's more so done on the recruiting ground. Take, you know, Frank Wilson, arguably the best running back coach in the country. You know, he's made his mark mostly as a recruiter. Now, as a developer, he's really good. And there's other running back coaches out there who um, are really, really, really good. And we'll see if Colby Smith uh, could get this running back room back to uh, prominence. We'll see how Colby does. I just don't think Jimmy Smith is that big of a loss, and, and we'll see how it works out. And obviously, that loss can be mitigated if Colby is a true difference maker. So, uh, Jaquindon Jackson, I, I like him a lot. I still think, ultimately, he is going to be the RB1 for this team. One final note here on Jackson. I will say, when it comes to doing videos on former players that are transfers, and this is not only the case uh, for my SEC channel, and Arkansas videos, I'm talking about videos I've done on the other SEC channels, there has been an alarmingly high number of Utah fans who have commented on my Jaquindon Jackson video uh, saying how much you're going to miss him. They really do think he is going to be good. I believe so as well. I do think he is a very, very solid running back prospect. What I would also say about Jaquindon, as far as his role is concerned in this offense, now that Jimmy Smith is gone, um, you know, Jimmy Smith, I believe, recruited DeBinion. I believe he recruited A.J. Green, who's now gone. Uh, I believe he recruited uh, 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 Isaiah Agustav. Uh, So, yeah, I, I think, you know, now that Jimmy Smith is gone, it is a running back coach uh, who's in now that has no allegiances to any of the players. So there you go. And I wanted to point out uh, Mateos, right? This is a new offensive line coach. Obviously, this is a position that has been heavily, heavily criticized um, as far as the coaching is concerned. And not a lot of you were excited about Mateos being hired, and we'll, we'll see how he does. All right, so the camera angle in the sun makes this really, really, really hard. Uh, for me to do, but I'm going to do my best to break down this one-on-one drill, and then at the end, I'm going to tell you what I hate about this drill. Now, once again, uh, and we'll, we'll get to that in just a second. This is number 81, uh, the young man that's a transfer from Denmark, and this is a single digit. It looks like Arkansas defensive lineman, and obviously, he gets pulverized. That's Really good stuff right there from the defender, okay? It's, it's, I, I like seeing that. <laughs> ha, 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 ha. Oh, man, you gotta love it. All right, here we go. This is Imarion Harris. We've been, you know, talking about how he's done well in, in some of our film studies. It's mostly, though, been against the same player. So now he's getting a chance, I believe, to go up against uh, a better quality player here. So let's see how it works out. And 
I mean, it's just so tough to see. But all right, so we then get to this second year player, Caleb James, and he just gets whipped uh, right here. Okay, it's a little cut off, obviously. Um, obviously, a little uh, high pad level, low man wins. Not a good punch at all, and he just gets driven off the football. It's a good job. Once again, it's tough for me to see who that left guard is. Okay. Um, I'm looking at Joe. Now, Arkansas fans, I know you love supporting my film studies. I appreciate all the kind words, but I got bills to play, 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 play. I got bills to pay. So, plenty of ways you could support. You could give it a super thanks. It's in the bottom right corner of your screen. Also, Venmo Cash App. Also, appreciated at Carter. The power so we got a head up battle here this is number 56 amari wiggins is he the answer at center well by judging by this rep this is really good stuff that that's that's nasty right there from amari wiggins all right so we got uh kobe branham going up against ian gelfred all right let's see what happens here oh man that's a good 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 rep right there by gelfred the only thing, uh, I'll share with you my qualms on this drill uh, here in just a second, how I would do this uh, differently, but still, um, that's some good stuff, okay? So now, let's see who's going here. There you go. That is uh, the transfer, number four, uh, Anton... Juncic, okay, from Albany, going up against number 53, Tykes Crawford, okay? Um, you know, it's been an interesting career for Tykes. Uh, the defensive line coach, I don't think, was too happy uh, with this rep. So, let's just see this play out, okay? I think it's pretty good, right? You're setting the edge. You're peeking around. So, Yeah. I like it. I think it was good. I like Go Anton, man. I, I actually looked at some of his highlights when he was at Albany. This guy might have some game, man. And look at this hairline from Anton, man. Look at it. Ha, ha, ha. He has worn FUBU at some point in his life. I'll tell you that. Oh, man. That's good stuff. So I do think we have Charlie Collins here, okay? So Charlie is the coveted recruit of this class. He is the highest ranked recruit and we talked about him in the last film study about how um he fits his hands right now once again he is a true freshman once again i i never and these are just spring drills don't take too much away from any of this guys are going to get better uh and yeah uh that's this is a tough rep okay um just by judging how anton did the rep and I, I, I'm, I know I'm butchering his name, but still, it could be Ant. Well, actually, now that I think about it, it it's probably Anton. Ha, ha, ha. I don't know. You take a look at this rep right here from Charlie Collins, okay? You know, he, he went by Charleston Collins. You could hear the coach in the background not playing the audio catching blocks and in, in in our last film study did catch blocks so you want to fire with your hands you don't want to bear hug somebody ever whether it's blocking because that would be a holding penalty or defensively you don't want to do that unless you're actually tackling somebody right so you'll see that this first step isn't the absolute worst coming out of this stance i know it's been a while since i played defensive line uh, so Theories have changed. I don't think that first step is the absolute worst. It's the hands, okay? You'll see that if he would have brought his hands, you can see that they, they're actually holding hands uh, right here. If he would have fired his hands and just got up in there and extended, he wins this rep, but his hands failed him, okay? Head is down. Once again, this is never a good thing. Same thing. Uh, that we talked about with the running backs earlier. You never want your head to be perpendicular with the ground. And you could tell it got flat there. And you just have absolutely no leverage. You see your feet are just caught up right here. You have no wide base. And you're you're just losing uh, this rep right here uh, as I'm losing the cursor here. Huh? 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 So uh, not 
not the best. He is a true freshman. It'll come with time. But that's where your defensive line coach and analysts have really got to work with them, right? Of course, the athleticism is there. If it wasn't, he wouldn't be a – and you could see the, the coach bear hugging, sticking your head down. He wouldn't be a four-star prospect. All right, so for this next rep, I'm going to play this clip at full speed, and you're going to hear uh, the coaches and everything. I'm going to point out two things. Number one, one thing I didn't really like about this rep, and number two, what I don't like about this drill. <laughs> With this rep, okay, so the coaches, I think I heard, there you go, liked this rep. It's a little high for me, but once again, that could be, you know, modern techniques. I'm, I'm not, you know, a high-level uh, defensive line coach by any stretch of the imagination. That's pretty high for me, but he does get his hands in the right spot. That is just perfect bit of hand fighting right there, okay? But now, one thing that I... Unless this is a pass rush rep, which I don't think it, I don't think this is a pass rushing drill. You know, if you're guarding the run game, you never just want to drill someone that deep into the backfield. You want to eventually find the football, right? Uh, but in a pass rush situation, I never mind a bull rush going right into the quarterback's lap. Here is uh, what I don't like about this drill, okay? You want your drills to be as game like as possible. And what these players are doing is going on the coach's hit, right? Which is not like a game situation at all, right? When it comes to defensive line and offensive line drills, every last half second matters, okay? This game happens so quick, and in particular, in the trenches, everything is almost a half second or a second long, right? Uh, so I would prefer, and some coaches have, this contraption they have a um a pole stuck into a ball and the drill begins or the rep begins when you pull the ball that's what my defensive line coach did on and he put a lot of division one power five guys but I, I i would prefer that because that's how it's going to be in a game you're not going to be going on hit right so that would be something that i would change on on, the, on this drill but once again I uh, don't make six figures, obviously, and I am not an elite offensive line coach. Uh, but I would change that about this drill. Even when you have the center uh, right here, you are still going on hit. That that makes absolutely no sense whatsoever, okay? Um, so, yeah, every offensive line versus defensive line rep, I am wanting my defensive line to get used to seeing the ball and obviously sometimes at end you don't actually look at the ball you go on the motion of the player in front of you because it is a tough angle to see the ball but all right i got one more thing on the quarterbacks here at the end but if you want to support what we're doing here on power hour sec go sign up for underdog fantasy promo code carter get a deposit match bonus i actually just drafted hunter henry for next year check it out underdog fantasy underdog fantasy Dot com. I'm excited to see how Charlie Collins develops. You know, nine was the best true freshman on Arkansas last season, Luke Haas. Hopefully uh, for the Hogs, it'll be the best on, on defense as well. So really excited to see his development. And I love talking lineman talk. I can do it all day. Not a whole lot of QB chatter, but once again, it goes along with our last video. Malachi Singleton running as a QB2 mostly, and Taylor Green, of course, as the QB1. There's Luke Haas. Look at that, man. Some other practice videos that we have been doing have been, uh, they are currently floating in your face. So we'll talk to you soon. It is Power Hour SEC Bell. And tonight we're doing Scampy, baby. Let's go.